Hello all, Sirius Lee's here, back for some more survival cereal. And uh, we're still on the anomaly. I've gone back to the ship to make an autosave, and that's about all I've done. We need to go talk to the people of the anomaly. This is one of them. He's got a little purple icon above his head. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, that's all we need to do. There we go. We talked to him. Done. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> we're going to come back to him later, but let's just get his purple icon out of the way. We're going to talk to Helios first. He actually has stuff to say to us. Young one. I roam the universe still. Yeah, I can give him data on planets. I've only been to like three. If I can click. Come on, mouse. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I got 150 nanites for those three planets. Not a bad trade. Whoops. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> Next up. Uh, visit a technology researcher such as Selen. Okay. We'll go to the back. Maybe we'll spend some nanites. I think that's what it wants us to do. Uh, before we talk to Selen, though, we're going to grab another suit slot because we can. Now, if I recall correctly, there's a bug where, yeah, what the heck? The first slot costs 5,000. The second one costs 500,000. That's supposed to be like 20 slots in. Because when the next slot is going to be cheap, I swear. What we're going to do maybe is we're going to try to get past this one with a drop pod or something like that. But for now, we'll just buy another slot here for 5,000. All right, so we'll talk to Selin like it wants us to. We'll do a research for upgrades. I need hazmat gauntlets, so I, I'm not afraid to buy those. I can even probably build those right away. I would love this. <clears throat> I can't build it yet. A pirate attack and we'll have this. <laughs> Spend our nanites on that. We're going to get some more nanites in a second anyway, so that's okay. Nothing else seems super duper important there, so we're done there. What's next? Do we need to talk to more or... Oh, we need to go to this thing over here. Do we have any salvage data? I don't think we have any salvage data. I've got zero salvage data. Okay, well, I talked to the terminal. I browsed the parts. Speak to Nada. I'll worry. We are all done. So after I do this and speak to Nada, the rest of the anomaly will be open to us. We can talk to the Nexus terminal. We can talk to Apollo. Uh, what's his name? Is it Apollo? <clears throat> what should we do, Nada? Uh, ask for help with uh, Artemis, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what these each do for you. 120 nanites. That was nice. What about this? Ask for... Uh, sure. Atlas station coordinates. Okay. So, can we talk to this guy yet? <clears throat> the Nexus... We can. We can do construct an outpost. We don't need to worry about not having any salvage data. Any base item parts that you need to build for that mission, you will know for the duration of that mission. I just don't have the materials to do it yet, so I'm not going to bother on this save. Not this weekend. The reward is also just some uh, fuel for, <clears throat> whatchamacallit, explosives that we don't want. All right, transmit milestone data. That we do want. We've got several milestones. That should be good for some free nanites. Yeah, 300 nanites. Excellent. Okay, so like I said back at the beginning, we're going to talk to this guy now. So, oh, come on, game. <clears throat> there we go. This is a brand new save started during uh, f uh, the current 3.6. But uh, I've done stuff. I've done Twitch rewards. I've done expeditions. Should I use that stuff? Yes or no? I feel like I should because I, I want to. I do not want to do a standard default playthrough of this save. I wanted to try to do that scrapper, you know, try to do some scrapping on this save. And that's how we would make all of our money. Uh, so maybe we'll do that. You know, instead of uh, selling cobalt and stuff, we've already scrapped one ship. Maybe we should grab some more ships to scrap. 
Now, I think what I'm going to need to do first, though, is go collect an expedition reward of a golden vector starship, because this starship does not have a lot of slots in it. And uh, <clears throat> if I switch to this one, I'll have plenty of slots to hold all the stuff in my inventory, right? And then I can scrap the other ships that come from Twitch rewards, which is what we're going to do to make our money to do derelict freighters to make our fortunes overall. If that makes any sense. <laughs> All right, so let's grab this. <clears throat> we're going to compare. We're going to claim it for free. We're going to go to this menu here. Summon vehicle. Change dock ship to the golden vector. Now, I feel like I left some stuff over there. But let's, uh, let's put some stuff on all everything let's put everything over there all right we're done slots i thought i was going to sneeze <coughs> but i didn't <laughs> Starship, let's move some tech over because we have lots of tech slots on the Starship. Okay, you. Uh, whoops, wrong button. And we have a phase beam as our main weapon over here instead of a photon blaster, and we can uninstall it if we want, which is interesting. Look at all of the slots that was wasted on this technology that we had the space for over here. No, oh, there we go. Come on, why can't I? <laughs> all right, Starship, move this one. What are all of these things? 30% pulse power? Yeah, I want three S-classes touching the 30% pulse drive power, if possible. Uh, and we've got one more tech to move. There we go. We'll just put that right there for now. And now we can move all of this stuff over to the ship. <clears throat> and make lots of room in our main inventory for scrapping some Twitch ships. Which we can go claim now. So let's talk to this guy, collect Twitch rewards. Where are all the starships? There we go, we want that. Compare, claim. Talk to him again, <coughs> Twitch rewards again. Uh, holler, sure. And I've got room for, let's see, Golden Vector, Pillar, I just collected two. So we've got room for two more ships. How many do we have left to claim? Three. Okay, uh, I feel like we should probably, maybe we should keep the Explorer. I don't know. Let's get rid of this one. Oops, oops, oops. <clears throat> there we go. And we've got one more ship, and we get to choose. And the other one we can keep. We've got the Golden Vector, right? So let's scrap this one. It's a very nice looking ship, though, except for that tail fin on the back. It's a very cool ship. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we have an empty inventory. No, yeah, summoned different vehicle. Let's start with the shuttle. We'll scrap that first. Come on, let me, there we go. <laughs> this is gonna give us a lot of nanites. Well, not this ship in particular, but all of these Twitch ships are A-class ships, so they will all scrap for A-class modules. 
which are worth about 300 to 350 each. So lots of free nanites from scrapping these. And we should get anywhere between one to three, maybe even as many as five modules for the fighter. <clears throat> so lots of free nanites about to be incoming to us. No, sorry, I have to keep uh, shutting the mic off because it is very dusty in my house today. It's wet and cold outside and the heaters have come on for I think the first time this year and there's a lot of dust in them because I don't get the air ducts clean because those things are always a scam phone call. Hello, air duct cleaning services. No, you're not. You're a liar. <laughs> All right, 2.6 million worth of scrap on this guy. Boom. Excellent. <clears throat> and what ship showed up? What ship did we get uh, as our replacement? Ah, uh, the pillar. <sighs> okay, well, you know what? Let's take some of this into our inventory while we have space for it. And let's see if we can scrap the pillar. You know what? We can get rid of uh, those modules first, the A-class modules. That'll get us a lot of space. Well, two slots. Got 600 nanites for that. Excellent. Claim scrap worth hardly anything. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> now do we get the golden vector to show up? I don't know. We'll find out in just a second. After we get rid of these three. Yeah, golden vector is our switched over ship. Excellent. Let's uh, get rid of some of the stuff from here. And this can all stay here. Did we get any upgrade modules, uh, storage augmentations? No. Oh well. <clears throat> Hello sir, would you like to buy some old Starship components? No, you don't. Well, that's a shame, because I'm going to sell them to you anyway. How about activated indium first? Get rid of that. Recycled circuitry. Cogs. Coolant. Quantum accelerators. Once useful springs. They're not useful no more. Thermal pads. Uh, all right, we're almost at five million. We can almost buy our first... Uh, whatchamacallit. Derelict freighter. Oh, answer communicator. Now what? Now what do we need to do? <laughs> <clears throat> Milestone accomplished for something or other there. Oh, earning money. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, hey, look. It's Artemis. <clears throat> Excellent. What do you have to say, Artemis? I see. Where are you? Alright, so they said, you don't know who you are. And I guess that's true. We just woke up and we have no idea who we technically are. Alright, well we have some updated missions. <clears throat> Maybe we'll get around to that, but we've got a little bit more scrapping to do. And I think the easiest way to switch ships to scrap is to head back to the anomaly. Instead of flying down to a planet. Because it does not let us do this switch docked ship on the space station for some reason. All right, off you go <clears throat> to the scrapyard. Don't know how much we'll get for this one money wise or nanite wise, but we're at 1500. Good deal. Something else we could do, if we're really concerned about really getting the absolute maximum value for our buck here, is disassemble as much of this stuff as we can. And the rest I can't. <clears throat> Some of the other ships probably have better weapons or more components installed that we can delete. 
All right, what are you worth? A class fighter. Four point, that, that's doubling our money if we actually get that value out of it. All right, and we got uh, at least one module to sell. A class, hopefully more than one. Just two. <laughs> we got a cyclotron module and that ship didn't even have a cyclotron ballista installed, which is interesting. Well, there's no ships to sell to right now, but there's always the scrap merchant. <clears throat> so let's, oh, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. backpack, come on. There we go, over the railing. <laughs> Maybe we should spend some of those nanites now that we have some. All right, we've got, we don't wanna, uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll sell the circuit board anyway. It's worth a lot of money. Let's get rid of the scrap scrap. This is actually useful for things, so maybe I can hang on to that one. Subatomic regulators can't be used for anything except selling. <clears throat> so yeah, okay. We're at 8.3 million. I'm pretty happy with that. In fact, I'm so happy with that. We're just gonna get this out of the way right now. Bam, first one of these purchased. <clears throat> we're not gonna use it right away, but we're gonna purchase it now while we have the space. Speaking of space, let's save some. Uh, I could go to the ship. Ship. Um, <clears throat> oh, hey, our first storage augmentation. Excellent. We'll keep the gold and silver. And the ammo and that and that. And definitely that. But maybe, <clears throat> maybe not this. Now nah, we'll keep it all. It, it'll, it'll stack to 500 over there on the ship. Right? Yes, indeed. Okay, cool. So, scrapping has commenced already. This is a survival scrapper save now. Making all our money from scrapping ships and derelict freighters and uh, all of that kind of stuff. We'll see how long we can maintain that. It is a lot, a lot easier to just make your money from a medium refiner and some chlorine. That takes like half an hour and you can have like 100 million <laughs> units. Uh, you're probably going to need to build five or six medium refiners, but you can do it. It can be done. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Not him. Not him. Uh, we didn't even need to get, you know, go anywhere. We're just switching ships. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll do the hauler next. If we've got room to hold everything from the hauler scrapping, yeah, I think we do, we should have room for everything. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I yeah, can't get rid of the shields, right? No, okay. Ooh, deoxite and some chromatic metal. Nice. Ah, I just uninstalled everything. No, go away, pirates. It's not a good time. I guess we can uh, continue to make some money from pirates too, because in you know one way of looking at it is that we're turning them into scrap. <clears throat> you know, we're just not selling that scrap directly. <laughs> we're leaving it floating around in space. All right, what are we gonna get from the hauler? Twenty-three million. Maybe we don't have the inventory space to scrap this. Oh my gosh. Okay, good, we do. Excellent. We're rich. We're rich. We can afford to buy all the backbat slots we want now. Five hundred thousand or not. <laughs> and we got three modules to sell. We, I'm tempted to just keep these. A classes are A classes, but. No, nanites are nanites. And like I said, speaking of nanites, let's spend some if we can. What do you got for sale here, sir? Thermal protection, no, that's the one I definitely want. And I don't even want to wait around for. Get rid of that, there we go, exosuit. Install right away, no room over there. So we're down a slot, but we, we're gaining a lot more jetpack fuel here. 
All right, one more ship to scrap, and it's a fighter. So hopefully we get uh, a bunch of A-class modules to sell. We did not, uh, out of all of these Twitch drops, we've only gotten one storage augment so far. That's really annoying. Ooh, I really like that golden starship trail. That's nice. It goes very nice with the golden vector. <clears throat> and I think we're just going to keep this ship for a while. Uh, it was free. It's got a lot of good modules installed already, especially in the pulse drive, uh, you know, area, which gives it a way better maneuverability than the uh, fighter that we scrapped earlier, the Radiant Pillar, the starter ship of terror. Oh yeah, I, I don't have anything yet. We're just switching ships anyway, uh, with that button. <laughs> Switch dock ships to that last Twitch drop fighter. Really, really nice looking fighter. Love the colors, love the style. That hot rod nose is nice. Cockpit is good, wings are great, engine's amazing. Really, the only thing I don't like is that uh, fin up top, slightly blocking the view, but at least it's a very thin fin. Doesn't really block the view all that much. <clears throat> Anything to uninstall? Yeah. There we go. Look how much we can we can just hover forever. <laughs> no, not really. <clears throat> but a lot longer, a lot longer. Oh no, I don't, I know where to get upgrades. Thank you, thank you. Just let me scrap it. Five point seven. Well, that's a uh, anticlimactic after the twenty three million we just got. Oh. Inventory full, huh? <clears throat> Did we not sell that? We didn't sell any of that scrap. <laughs> All right. Okay. Keep the silver. Sell the junk. Anything else? Yeah, a handful of cogs I don't want. 26 million units. I think that's more than good enough, and we should be able to scrap this ship for that 5 million worth of stuff now. Hopefully. <clears throat> Almost 6 million worth of stuff. Yeah, perfect. And come on, let me sell that stuff to you, because I don't want it. Only got three. Oh, well. Still, that's uh, 900 nanites. Hard to say no to 900 free nanites. And there we are in our last ship, the Golden Vector. Boom. Done. So that's all of the scrapping for today, I think. Oh, well, let's sell some of this stuff. Get that money. Pressed Indian scrap. There's half our money right there. Thermal pads, cogs, springs. We got a storage augmentation again. That's good. That's great. Let's go put those to use. I think we're, since I said we're going to keep the uh, golden vector, we may as well increase the storage slots. Right? Upgrade starship. Apply augmentation is the number top choice there. And uh, we've already got max tech slots. That's great. So these can all go into increasing the storage slots. Cool. Let's do a teeny tiny bit of organizing before we go ahead and make that auto save. Yeah, that should go on the ship where it stacks higher. Keep that there. I should sell activated cadmium. We don't need that, okay. Phosphorus, I think we have a stack on the ship already. Same with silver, same with sodium. Don't have dioxide, but we do have wiring looms. And I think we have cadmium as well. So, I'm going to have to organize this out because I don't want to carry all of this stuff here forever. But we need a freighter. We're going to have to go get a freighter somewhere. 
All right, there we go. That was a pretty successful scrapping day. Well, let's see what is next on the docket building-wise. Let's unpin that. We don't need that. Log, alone amidst the stars. First locate a long-distance transmitter. Okay. We just need to do a scan. That's easy enough. Uh, you know what? You know what? Before we do that, before we do any of that stuff, let's do one... Let's check something first. Let's check something. What do we got installed technology? A teleport receiver. No, that's not the item I want. Let's go spend some nanites that we just earned and see if we can install a uh, economy scanner on this thing. And then we can find some rich star systems to teleport to. I don't know that that's going to help us in our scrapping endeavors, but maybe it will. And now that we have the jetpack, even just one S-Class module is enough to get you up this little lip here. But it's hard to get up there with the default jetpack, so... Okay, so we need uh, this station here, Starship Research. We need to unlock the teleport receiver. Even though we have one, we need the blueprint in order to get the economy scanner. There we go. We need five microprocessors and a wiring loom. We've got that already. Uh, I could unpin that formula, but I want to actually build this. So instead of unpinning the formula, let's just build it like it asks. Oh, okay. I wasn't on the wrong tab, or I was on the wrong tab. There we go. Item unpinned, problem solved. Now we can find some tier three economies to warp to. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit that scan button until we go to, actually, I don't even have warp fuel, do I? Do I? Oh, hey, yeah, this is full, awesome. The golden vector comes fueled, that's so cool. Uh, I don't have very many, I don't have any warp drive efficiency modules though, do I? No, this is going to consume all of my fuel to warp once and we can only go 100 light years. Ugh. Well, let's do it. <laughs> Maybe we can find a tier 3 economy to go to. Uh, yeah, I asked for this. I did ask for this. That's, that's fair. That's fair. I'm not going to the Atlas. Don't worry about it. Where are we? There we go, free mode. Yeah, I can see stars now, I can see the economy. That doesn't mean we're gonna be able to get anywhere that I want to get, but I can at least see the economy before we go there, which is nice, I think. Lots of medium economies. There is a three-star Gek economy. I don't need Viking, but it would be better for nanites. Another three-star GEC. Multiple three-star GEC systems over here. Let's go to this one. It's a little bit further away. We'll get us range to uh, some other star systems afterwards. <clears throat> so here's our first warp in the new starship, Golden Vector. Nice. Tons of money. We can buy whatever we want. Well, no, not whatever we want. We can't afford a freighter. We can't afford a max slot hauler. We still have lots of uh, money to make. First contact, we don't need to wait to see the economy. It's flourishing, we knew that already. I could go buy some frigates, except that I, I don't have um, hollow terminus located. Right, that was what we had to do for our mission. And what kind of planet is it on? Looks okay, swamp? Uh, no, fungal mold planet, okay. Look at that nebula over there, that's so pretty. That's so cool. All right, we're gonna fly to the space station and we're gonna come back next time to figure out what that long distance transmitter has for us. Probably more talking to Artemis. That's my guess. <laughs> and until next time, everyone, have a good time.